let's let's configure Windows Live Mail. The first thing we have to do is figure out if Windows Live Mail is already part of the computer, already installed on it. Um, we're going to use a start menu search for Windows. It's uh, part of Windows Vista and uh, Windows 7. In order to do that, what we want to do is click on the start button like so. Just click once with the left mouse button. Now, in this area right here, search programs and files, the cursor is already positioned there. So we'll just begin typing WL mail. The list is filtered. All we have at the, at the top under programs is WLmail.exe. An executable file in Windows is a file with a .exe extension. In short, that means it's a computer program that we can run. We're opening it up now. Right now, it's just asking us if we want to use Windows Live Mail. Whenever we click on a link, that would allow us to respond to an email that we see. Yeah, sure, that's okay. So we've got quite a lot of mail in here. Because we're showing you how to install it, the first thing I'm going to do is just remove the account in here. I'm going to go to uh, email. We can do it from here as well, properties. Or actually, we can remove account, and that's it, it's gone. So let's close Windows Mail and let's start this out again. So we want to find Windows Live Mail, WL Mail. There's WLMail.exe. Some people would like an icon, all you have to do is drag it over to the desktop, and you have a link. Now we're in Windows Live Mail. First thing we want to do is create accounts. We go to accounts, email, and uh, this is going to be an address that I'm just going to use to fill out forms and surveys. I'm sure it's going to get it entered into uh, some kind of spam database. So I don't really want I don't want my real email address to to go to some of these organizations. So spam for life will be the email address at shaw.ca. The great thing about Shaw services is you're allowed up to 10 email addresses. Um, you know, this is a good opportunity, good reason to use one of those extra 10 email addresses to get to spammers. Um, oh crap, I, uh, shoot, I can't remember the password. So what I have to do now, let's just minimize this. We need to go into uh, uh, myshaw.ca. I'm going to log in here. We have to go to Customer Center. I can't really see it. The resolution is so low on the monitor so I could record a video. But uh, this is a site right here, myshaw.ca. Up here, HTTP, HTTPS colon slash slash signon.shaw.ca. And uh, here we are. I already have my Shaw password username and password. The computer remembers it, so I log in. I'm going to go down to uh, Internet. I'm going to manage my email and web space. And we're going to log into the My Shaw or the Spam for Life email address. So Here it is right here, the spam for life. We're changing the password. Up here it says change password for spam for life. Up in here tells us about uh, well, tells us about password requirements. So for the new password, I, I recommend an uppercase, a lowercase character, a number, and eight characters. Some people will say six is enough. I, I like to say eight.
right here it says you've successfully changed the password. Your password has been changed. We're going to log out. Click sign out button. Yeah, we're going to log out. You want to do that. We're done with myshaw.ca for now. Here is a, we're back into Windows Live now. Okay, we're back at the place where we add our account. Up here it says add your email accounts. Right here it says display the name uh, for your sent messages. So this is just a way of stamping a name on them. Steven, you know, I, I'm not even going to give these people my full name. I don't have to. Okay, server type is a pop server. No matter where you are, you can use pop.sha.ca. I recommend this setting rather than the regional settings. And we'll take a look at those in a second. We do not want this checked. This is require secure connection. We're not doing that at this time. So down here, it must say clear text. The same over here requires a secure connection. No. Requires authentication. No. Now, depending on where we are in Canada, we're going to have to enter an outgoing mail server. The outgoing mail server is a mail server that's actually puts the email into the email system. We're just going to open up a web browser, don't care which. Um, let's go to shaw.ca. And we're going to go to internet. And uh, internet support. We're going to search Shaw support for email servers. Let's try to find it through the. Let's try to find it through these menus. It'd be a good exercise. What are my mail server names here? Great. And the lookup tool. Awesome. This is really easy to find, actually. Okay. It says choose a city nearest to you. I happen to be in Calgary. I'm going to choose Calgary. So, top of the list, and uh, there it is, the Calgary server, shawmail.cg.shawcable.net. In the old days, we could get away with doing this and just putting in shawmail. It's not such a good idea anymore. A lot of people use routers, gateways, things like that. Most of the time with those products, you'll need a fully qualified domain name. So, let's get that fully qualified domain name again. It says change it and change it back. There it is, shawmailcg.shawcable.net. We're just going to right click on it after selecting it. So just select it, right click on it, copy it, go into Windows Live Mail, click here, right click, and paste. Click next, finish, and there it is. The email address is there. Now let's go to tools. We're going to send and receive. And we're going to start getting all of our email that's been sent to this email address for a very long time. This is a good, good reason why you want to test it right now, because sometimes you might mistype your password. Here it is, my mail's coming in. Let me show you guys one more thing too. This could be important. Um, this is really important when you go to unable to send or receive messages for the spam for life account. An incorrect password was entered. The next time you send or receive messages, you'll be asked to enter your password. I think this is from the previous uh, error. We'll have to check the account settings one more time. We'll go to email accounts. Actually, we go up here. Right here, this is the email account right here. Highlight it, click on properties, click on advanced delivery. That's good. That's good as well. Yeah, it was just warning us from the first time that we tried to send a message or that we tried to log into the server, we had the wrong username or password pair. Let's go to advanced. This is the one thing I wanted to tell you guys about. It's leave a copy of messages on the server and remove from server when deleted from deleted items. You want to leave a copy of messages on the server if you're accustomed to using more than one computer to access your email. 
the reason is if we don't have this clicked it's going to uh, it's going to kind of grab every piece of mail in that inbox you're not going to be able to see your mail from webmail.shaw.ca if you have an iPhone you want to get your email from your iPhone you won't be able to do that Android whatever um, that's why I like this message right here leave a copy of messages on the server um, every now and then the email box will get filled up if we don't delete it so I have this selected to remove from server when deleted from deleted items so these settings were already in Outlook uh, not Outlook Windows Live Mail so we click OK and it saves them let's go back and check our email one more time let's see if we get that error again so we go to tools send and receive no error. Let's do one more test. We're going to make an email message and we're going to send it to, we can send it to ourselves. So we'll go spam for life at shaw.ca test test send. Don't need to send two messages, just one. After sending the message, Outlook has to go onto the server and check what's on the server. It normally does this for you in periods of time intervals there it is test but uh, we click on send receive when we want to force when, when we want to force the program to check for mail immediately so that's it that's that's how to set up an email address in Windows Live mail all right thank you